Hello everyone, Flick here. It's time for yet another Let's Look At, and today we are taking a look at Dual Gear by Orbital Speed Studios. I think it's a two-man team from Thailand. And this is a pre-alpha build, so it's it's very, very early, although what's here for a pre-alpha build is, is very impressive, I think. It's a mixture between a little bit of Armor Core and a lot of Front Mission 3, which is a game I really, really liked back in the PS1. It was PS1, right? Yeah, yeah it was. In fact, I'm pretty sure I still have my... Anyway, that doesn't matter. Uh, this is a pre-alpha build that's available to everybody via Steam, so I'll put that link in the description box below for you to try for yourself, and I highly encourage you to do so, and as it says there, they are currently crowdfunding via Indiegogo, which is, if you aren't aware, essentially the same as Kickstarter, but also offers flexible funding, so you don't necessarily need to hit your desired goal for a project to go ahead into production, and that's the case here. Also, there is currently only Japanese audio, but they do have English planned and something else. We're going to skip the tutorial and just go straight into the bulk of the, the main mission that you get given. It's three stages, well, one level, but there's like three waves of enemies. And you get a bunch of different mechs to try out in it as well. They are looking for 60,000 US dollars and at recording there's 16 days remaining and they only have 22% funding. Which is like, they're just shy of 13,000. And I'm not actually sure why it's not more funded. I mean for a very, very early build this is very, very polished. It's in Unreal 4 by the way. It's very polished at an early stage and... To me, it appeals greatly. It's essentially Front Mission 3, it's just except rather than grid-based movement, you've got free movement and you are you have a, a general kind of energy bar that drains for every action. Movement, guns, etc. So yeah, we just start off against a bunch of machine gun turrets and rocket turrets with a bunch of different mechs with different setups to try out the weapons, which is different from the tutorial. So we're under attack, they've hacked the base defences, etc. So the first mech we get to use has a giant railgun that of course I'll be using because railguns are fun. But just to go over my health bar and whatnot, it's in the bottom left, we're currently playing as Neil Kersen, or Sersen, I guess. Then you've got like your health for your main body, your one arm, your shoulder, your other arm and your legs. And you have armour and then you have the health below that. The the radial blue bar is the thing that drains when I move, fire, etc. And I can also use the D-stick, the D-stick, the D-pad to change which weapon I want to use and then the information for that weapon is in the bottom right. Currently, I think this demo is only compatible with Xbox 360 and Xbox One controllers. I'm using the 360 controller. Could get the mouse and keyboard to work, so I think that's the case. But anyway, so we don't want to do normal shot. We absolutely want to do a normal shot with the railgun. I think I can afford to move a little bit. It needs a lot of your bar to fire. So we'll kind of we'll move a little bit. So there's kind of like a permanent overwatch system in the game, where if that bar, the timer bar on the enemy there had fully depleted, it would have got a free pot shot at me. However, you are able to dodge. Hot shots. Seventy-one percent chance. Go for it. And we got him. Destroyed the armor and destroyed his life. <laughs> so we do have a little bit of bar left. With that, we could move. But if I do, that guy is definitely going to shoot at me. So we're just going to press Y and to end this guy's turn. So this one, he's got two different types of missiles. He's got a dagger thing. And he's got a little Uzi. And we've got an enemy right there. Hmm, well what we could do is go to like launch the multi missiles and rather than move just use up most of my bar doing that. And that'll clear the field pretty damn quick. We got rid of one entirely, we damaged that one. He's got hang on, he's got like 70 HP left. We might have enough to just fire our Uzi once. Yeah we do. Let's try and just finish him off. We got him. And I've got a little bit of bar left. I could try and run over and grab one of those. Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, he's getting a shot. Hang on, I'm going to keep moving, so hopefully he misses. Yeah, there, there we go. And there goes the rest of my bar. That put me way out away from everybody else, but that's okay. So this guy's got an Uzi, a missile launcher, and a sword. And we are absolutely going to use the sword, even though it's it's kind of relatively weak because it doesn't have a good chance to hit. 85% when you're point blank, well obviously you have to be point blank. Isn't that great? You press once and then I think you press again when the circle is like full. Oh, we didn't quite get it, 43 HP left. And I don't have enough to fire, do I? No, I do not. Uh, I'm just going to move so that someone else can get a shot because I don't want to stand in the way. Oh, he's going to get shot as I end with my turn. Yep, there he goes, he got shot. That's a shame. All right, this is our. This is the guy you would have played as in the tutorial. He's got dual shotguns. Dealt with. 
Don't really need the ammo. And we'll just take some pot shots at you, I guess. Oh, we got lucky. Two crits there. This is going swimmingly so far compared to when I did this off camera. Oh, I forgot about you. Um, well, in that case, we'll just move close and we'll deal with you next turn. That's my first turn, so now the enemies are going to get a chance to take some pot shots at me. They won't move, so sadly we're not going to see the Overwatch system in effect where I can take pot shots at the enemy that are wasting their time moving around as well. They're not wasting their time, you know, getting into a better position. And that'll be a hit. Very minimum damage. It starts easy. After this wave of guns, you get a wave of easier mechs, and then you get a final wave of very, very tough mechs. I'm not sure if I'll show off the full final wave, because I want you to have an excuse to go play this for yourself. It's available, it doesn't cost anything to play this pre-alpha build. I encourage you to do so, because this, usually when I cover a crowdfunding game in progress, you know, be it Kickstarter, Indiegogo, whatever, I usually take the stance that, in order to remain impartial, I can't invest in it. Because otherwise I've obviously got a bias, because I'm financially invested in seeing the thing finished. This might be... I, the first game where I kind of break my own rule because I am surprised that it's not further along in funding than it is and I, I can only assume either people are waiting for Mech Warrior from Hale, Hairbrain Schemes which I mean Mech Warrior doesn't play like this this is this plays like Front Mission also that was a bad miss this is a different type of mech game and multiple mech games are allowed to exist so I hope that's not the reason but yeah it feels like it needs to be further along than it is so I feel like I probably will back this in some fashion so if you think that makes all the things I've said thus far void, that's your decision. I would encourage you to try for, I mean, I always encourage you to try things for yourself. Don't take my word as gospel. And we will grab that ammo, thank you. Uh, we will grab that ammo, thank you. Oh, maybe I didn't need it then. <laughs> ah, someone's taking a shot. Or gonna take a shot. End, end. Oh, he's gonna shoot after I stop moving. Damn. Sword guy. Uh, shotgun guy is going to take out that turret, so therefore I just need to worry about these two. I hmm, I could fire a couple of missiles, but the missiles don't really have a good chance to hit. Let's get in there with the sword. Oh, you're definitely going to get a shot off, though. And you're a missile guy, so it's not going to matter them point blank. Oh, we killed that one in one hit, though. And we'll get close to this guy for next time. been much smoother than when I was still trying to learn what the hell was going on. Let's put it that way. That was a bad mess, but he didn't have much HP, so it doesn't matter. I would like to use my full bar to get very close to where the next enemies are going to spawn, so we'll take this hit. We'll just eat it. Oh, or we'll dodge it. There, there. The mechs move with a lot of weight, and I like that. They don't exactly move fast, you know. I think in Armored Core you had, like, the skidding around thing, didn't you? I didn't like that as much. I like my mechs to have weight to their movement. A little bit of damage, one crit on the main body there I think. No wait, no sorry, the, the not the main body. Whatever the middle icon is. I thought it was the shoulder pads but now I'm not actually 100% on that. Right, we can't really use the real gun from this side because he's in the way. Stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. We'll just use the normal Uzi. You missed a lot. You should have enough bar to fire again, though, if I just do the Uzi. Yeah. Good, okay, so the second wave should just appear instantly, and we're only one mech down in this turn, so that's actually fine. Wait, you're not dead. No, I have to waste someone else's turn. Well, if I make you stand still, I could maybe just get away with a normal shot and still do something else. Hang on, why is your... where's your health? 64 health, yeah. Just finish him off. There we go. So now instantly the next wave should just kind of pop in. If everything happens as it did before when I was doing this off camera. Any second now. There we go. So you know, this guy's got a missile launcher and a Uzi. Then the next guy will have two missile launchers. Yep. And then the third guy is just pure melee. Two stabby daggers. And we still have this turn. So I'd rather like to end this turn with a multi-missile launch. Take that. Oh, we blew up some armor. Almost took out his legs entirely. Taking out the melee guy's legs would be very beneficial when you won't have enough. Yeah, definitely not. Do I want to reposition you slightly? Yeah. Just a little bit. This is actually a fake out. That guy has no gun, so it doesn't matter that his timer is counting down. He can't counter me. I'm too far away. So next is my sword guy. 
sword guy, what are you going to do? You might just stand here and launch a missile, actually. What's your chance to hit? 50-50, more or less. 50-50, bang on, 51. Yeah, let's try and take out the this guy's legs. We didn't quite manage it. Took out one of his hands, though. So now he only has one stabbing implement. And then we'll finish with a long-range shot from the Uzi. That did okay. You are fine to end your turn. Alright, double shotgun man. You're probably not going to get close enough to do much. You might as well try and finish him off, I guess. Hmm. Actually, I'd rather he tried to come at me because then he could die during the overwatch phase. So let's just take a pot shot at him. Oh, almost took out his legs as well. We took off the armor. And you probably don't have enough for a shot. Alright, that's my turn. So they'll get a chance to move now and we might see some counters. He's only got one hand. He's very badly injured. He's probably quite slow as well. Yeah, he is. Alright, this could finish him right here. Oh, he missed a lot! Although it looks like his melee attack also missed. You're too far away, that's why that missed. Alright, this guy, before when I did this off camera, yeah, he always backs up and fires missiles. I mean, it's a. Oh, wait, is that Uzi? He opted to back up and fire the less accurate weapon. Hmm. I'm not going to question it. The better condition my team ends this fight in, the more chance they've got against the final wave, which is super tough. This could hurt. I got to counter at least. Didn't lose a hand, so we've still got both our guns. When I was doing this before, I lost the real gun on my real gun guy, and I was pissed. Speaking of. Fifty-fifty chance. Go for it. Oh, one shot. Glorious, 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 glorious. Okay, so he hasn't got much of his turn left. So we'll move up a little bit. I'm kind of I'm preempting the next wave by getting people in position now. Have you wait there. Now you're off in no man's land right now. From where you are, launching a multi-missile would be perfect actually. Two down, one to go. I'm not actually sure how much damage got done to the other guy. Oh he's he's lost a hand. He's only got his missiles left. Yeah, he's dead. In that case. We'll just carry on doing what I'm doing. Oh he is getting ready to fire though, and he will fire his missiles. I think I could hide behind the building if I go fast enough. I don't actually know if the scenery is destructible. Oh, he's not firing it, so we're not going to find out. Oh, wait! Alright, I guess that confirms that at least in the pre, 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 pre alpha, the scenery is not destructible. I'd, I'd quite like to see destructible scenery, but maybe that's on the cards. I'm not sure what kind of stretch goals, if any, they have. Hmm, will we get over there in time to sword? Let's give it a go. Oh, he's absolutely going to get a chance to turn to me, though. Did I miss? No, I just didn't do enough damage. Arg! Again, I'm preempting the final wave here by moving people into position now. Shotgun guy. You're gonna have a bad time. Told you. Alright, so when I did this off camera, I had everybody go up the same side. As, as we're seeing, the squad appears way at the back and they don't start firing at you until you're closer. But I think it tries to lure you into going through that open silo in front of me. He has got a big old railgun and missile launchers. That guy on the right has got missile launchers and an Uzi. And the guy on the left has an Uzi and two railguns. And they're much harder, just in general. More armor, more health. They hurt, too. <laughs> So yeah, I think it tries to lure you up the middle where you're just you're in a shooting gallery. Also, it reset my position. That's annoying. I was trying to get people in position to save me a couple of turns of running. I'm not going up the middle because that just begs them to shoot at you as you try and get to them. So I'm going up the side because they can't see me and they won't move until I get round. So it might be a couple of turns here of me just kind of laboriously stomping my way up the side here, but it's the only chance I'll have to win. 
Oh, also that was the end of that turn. Yeah, they'll just didn't sit here this turn. He actually has two Uzis. Two Uzis and two, two real guns is a little bit overkill if you ask me, but you know. I mean, I could try and fire my real gun from here, but I would rather get closer to have the best chance to hit. Yeah, when I was doing this off camera, this guy he lost his real gun, and then when I got into this final combat, I lost my other hand as well, so I couldn't do a thing with him. But the AI was such that it didn't really parse that this mech was harmless now because he couldn't attack, he'd lost both hands. And they kept on hitting him, and that let me get the win. Also, apologies for the dog barking in the background. So, you need to stomp your way up here as well. We don't really need the constant reminders of energy remaining, I feel. Also, some of the, the English does need work. I believe at one point in the tutorial, it might only be in the tutorial, it says you, you breaked apart rather than you broke apart. But, you know, the developers are from Thailand, so it's not necessarily guaranteed to be correct English, but, you know, things like that will probably get worked on, assuming funding is met. Or, you know, a vast majority of the funding is met. They're not asking for an awful lot, and to see something this far along, and yet still classes pre-alpha, that's the thing that surprised me the most. What are they going to be missing for the full game? I hope there's a lot of variety. They promise a lot of stuff. They promise, again, keep in mind because it's flexible funding, if they don't get full funding this may not be the case, but they're planning a first quarter of 2017 release for PS4, Xbox and PC. Now, are we all close enough to do it this turn? No, I think I need one more turn of prep. Oh wait, this is the last guy of this turn. Well, in that case, we'll just kind of put you behind him there. Uh, they have 30 story missions planned for roughly 30 hours of gameplay. <coughs> Pardon me. 30 original and customizable mechs. It includes a lot of like the tread types that you would have seen in Front Mission 3 if you are familiar with it. 100 customizable parts and 60 weapon types. I mean, there's like 10 tops in the demo, so they have lots more planned, it seems. Armor and brake system, uh, or sorry, armor and part brake system, which you've seen in action here. Character development system, huge mech bosses, and apparently also space combat, which sounds very interesting. Uh, I guess we're we're just we're doing it this turn then. Hopefully, I left myself enough of the bar to fire this, because if I haven't, I'm going to be very sad. Forty-five percent though. Oh, that's that's nasty. Try it. We missed. Very unfortunate. Oh, we'll just use the rest of your bars just to get a little bit, a little bit in that corner there. Okay. What I really should have done is turned him so that the railgun was facing the entirely different direction because then there's less chance of him. I don't know how you can actually see me to prep a shot. Hey, you know what? Fire at the building. Good. Oh, I accidentally let go of the button so I only fired once. I hope it'll let me fire again. Also, you're readying the railgun. Uh, I'm going to move. Oh, no, I didn't move fast enough. That did a lot of damage. I'm actually surprised it didn't take out the hand. All right, we're just going to move into position to attack next turn, I guess. That was a mistake. The fight is already going worse than the first time. Yeah, I think that might be a glitch that they're prepping shots before I even get around the corner. Uh, nope, I want to hopefully get away with the rocket if I have enough of a bar left. 42... I really want this guy with the railguns to get destroyed. Ah, oh, you hit his feet. He doesn't really need to move when he has railguns. Alright, shotgun guy, my last guy. I don't want you to hit the railgun guy though. I think I might just use this whole turn to move. Please miss. Oh, okay. <laughs> that hurt. Do I have enough left to fire once? I think I do. <laughs> I did barely nothing. This could be nasty right here because I imagine they'll just opt to stand still and fire their best guns. Don't take out the railgun, please. Alright, the railgun's still there. Got a crit on my legs though, but I'm in the position where I just want to stand still and fire now anyway. He is actually moving. He's moving closer to my team. That's suicidal. I'm going to get a shot. Only with the Uzi, but you know, every little helps. You firing a rocket? No, you're firing a railgun at that point blank. Don't destroy my railgun, please. That's all I ask. He missed. 
Jolly good. I assume the, the full game might have some kind of ability where you can fire two real guns at once. You just need like your full bar or something. He's opting to move. Fire missiles probably. Move and fire. Another Uzi shot at least. Oh, he oozied as well. I'm getting very lucky here that we didn't opt to just missile spam. Speaking of, I think the smarter thing for this guy to do might be to missile spam. Let's assume that everybody else is going to gank him. So I think missile spamming these two is my best bet. Actually, it mostly missed. Um, okay, well, let's do a standard Uzi shot on this guy just to help them out a little bit. What did we take out there? Oh, he almost lost his legs, but not quite. And we'll just... Can I fire again? No. We'll stand still. I maybe should have turned again. Uh, let's see. So, this is my missile guy. Or punch with dagger guy. almost took out his whatever that icon is in the center. Maybe that's the pilot bit, actually. We'll stand still and do two barrages. He lost one of his hands. He's lost a real gun. Very quick movement. Just, just a turn. That's it, that's it. Sword guy, could you finish him off? What chance have you got to hit with the rocket at this range? 56. Hmm. Only a 65% chance to hit these guys in melee as well. I got countered, but I did also smack him. Not enough. Alright, so last guy, shotgun guy. Yeah, here we go. I did not do a lot. But that did enough. Yeah, I guess that middle section is like the pilot, so if you take that out you don't need to worry about taking out the armor and everything else. See, I don't understand that. I think I do have enough of my bar left to fire, but the game says no. I'm not sure if that's a glitch or if I'm just misunderstanding the, the GP gauge at some point. Alright, fire your big gun at someone. I want to see it fire. Oh, here we go, and it's on my real gun guy as well. Oh dear. He didn't lose an arm. That That's all that matters to me. Unless this guy also picks on him. The AI for this section does seem to really hate your real gun mech. Yeah, he's going after him as well. I don't understand that. It was the same when I did this off camera as well. And there goes the real gun, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Maybe that's why. They want to deny you the real gun. Well, I've still got my multi-shot multi rocket launcher. That's what I want to see. So let's just do that. Alright, did a little bit of good there. And let's do it again. He's very nearly done. No more. Every time. I lose the real gun. Every damn time. So, you could probably just do a couple of multi barrages as well, actually. Also, my phone is ringing. Apologies. Just ignore it. That did less. That did a lot worse, in fact. Come on. Ah, it keeps on missing the guy I'm trying to finish. Alright, we have two more guys. I want to take out the other green guy so it will just leave the red boss. But you're too far away. You could sword him, or you could try and like normal shot and maybe even missile. It's a coin flip, let's try it. The coin flip worked out. He didn't die yet, but he lost an arm. And then I should have just enough left to fire the Uzi once. Yeah. Um, let's go for him because he's closer. That did okay. And not enough left to fire again. Yeah. We are going to move ever so slightly before we get a counter in. There we are. Alright, shotgun dude. Take out this guy's massive real gun. Got a couple of crits. That's okay. Got to wait for the cooldown and then we can fire again. That was a... That was a mess and a half. And now I can't fire again. 
Or maybe I can fire the other one. No. Oh, you bastard. You did get to shoot it, and I think you might have taken out one of my hands. I heard an explosion, but I can't see. You know what? Now he doesn't have the real gun. I'm glad that you're picking on him, because he's, he's dead to me. Are you shooting him as well? You are. You're going to shoot him again. Oh, he's going to get you. You're going to get him, but he's getting you. Oh, he took out more of your armor. It's just vindictive at this point, isn't it? Oh, he can't... Ah, he, he went out of range of my rockets. Well, we'll just fire at that guy then. Double miss there, I did zero damage. No, then. Nice. His legs are busted, he ain't moving. Oh, and he killed the other one. In that case, just do like a standard rocket to finish. 50 50 chance, let's do it. And that's a miss. That's a very unfortunate miss. Let's move a little bit closer so we can get him on the final turn. So now we've got the sword guy and then the shotgun guy to finish. Let's try and do the sword. 65% chance to hit. And we got him. Did we take out the hand? Oh, we just outright killed him, in fact. So that is where the pre-alpha build ends of Dual Gear. And this build that you saw me play through is available on Steam, and I'll link that below. The only part of it you haven't seen is the tutorial which will take you through the basic controls and whatnot and the explanations about how these stats work and how your movement works. Maybe I missed something in there regarding whip and ammunition because I'm not 100% on that. But I really like it and I hope it gets funded. I'm very into mechs obviously. But there we go, yep, the campaign ends on the 25th of March at 12 noon I think that said PST. So that is going to do it, thanks very much for watching. My name has been Flick and ta-ta for now.